left shaped animal draws the hand combines a lot of different um, of different interest uh, but mostly this uh, this uh, idea between this division in between the uh, the animal and the human um, but also it conveys uh, another idea that uh, that I've been thinking a lot lately that is uh, how the same way that when you possess something this something is possessing you back uh, when you are doing a sculpture or an exhibition, this exhibition is making you back as well. Even if you are drawing an insect, somehow this insect is drawing you back. For me, um, an exhibition is not simply an accumulation uh, of objects. Uh, into, a, into a certain space or shown in, let's say, optimal conditions. Uh, for me, the exhibition is a place where you can really uh, renegotiate your relation to reality. The important thing is not what happens here inside Angarbicoca, but how you face reality again when you leave. I'm not sure um, what I did is exactly a site-specific uh, intervention, but it's for sure a site-responsive uh, one, in the sense that uh, I came here to see the space, and obviously the first thing that uh, calls you or that, that you see is uh, this super strong uh, industrial character the space had. I have, uh, I, I maybe had because now it doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> but um, I really wanted, since the very beginning, uh, first of all, of opening the the, the windows uh, and the skylights, and at the same time, I wanted to uh, to take this the brutal aspect of the architecture of Angar and convey it into a much more uh, gentle uh, architecture to hold the most warm uh, way the, the, the body and the, and the experience uh, of the viewer. No? So this is also why uh, I decided to use textiles in, instead of other material or every, every shape is really curvy. There's certainly something phantasmagorical uh, in the show and also in how it changes uh, from day to night. Starting from, from fast meets, uh, both the sculpture and the video, or the fast meets, the actual fast meets that are living inside the pavilion, uh, the, the word fast meet um, uh, came from the Greek uh, phasm, which is, uh, is the root for phantom, and it means apparition. But these apparitions are, are somehow uh, a recursive element, no? so the hand with the leaves in the hologram Mano Konojas can be considered somehow an apparition. The, the, the distorted body of the viewers through the, through the glass panes of systemic grids are also somehow an apparition. And there are some, even some words that are literally called phantom, like phantom, the virtual reality piece, or the architecture, which I, I, we end up calling phantom architecture, that somehow uh, creates an evanescence uh, of what an architecture will be. And the idea is basically that we are constantly haunted by specters from the past, but also from the futures that might be or not. So we, when we are talking, uh, we are thinking about climate change, or for example, the, the current disasters in the Amazonian rainforest. This is a huge phantom that is hunting your present and your immediate future. I think this is my relation to <laughs> to phantoms. <laughs> I think if we really want uh, to superate the, the, the crisis, uh, the ecological crisis uh, we're starting to face, I think we really need uh, a change of paradigm. I think art has a really important role in, uh, in creating a new cultural paradigm because it's through art that culture is made. <laughs>